What's up guys welcome back to our road to dark matter series on our last episode we got the ppsh gold and now it's time to get the ballistic knife gold now i already have a class with this ppsh so i'm gonna go ahead and take it off since we did unlock the new sniper just to have us have it on us i don't think we're really even going to be using this class but just to show you that i have the new sniper but i think the strat to get this gold is to play sticks and stones now normally when a new gun comes out and you get like a blueprint for it like like what i have here with this uh ballistic knife blueprint using the the weapon before you unlock it won't get you any levels or camos but in sticks and stones it gives you the base weapon and with the base weapon you can still level it up and unlock camos for it so playing sticks and stones is probably the best way to get camos and levels and everything for the ballistic knife now the only camo you can't get for it there's a camo i think it might be psychedelic i could be wrong where you have to get like x amount of kills while enemies are stunned flashed or stunned flashed or disoriented by your smoke and you cannot get smokes or flashes in this so that challenge is not possible but the main takeaway from this is there are no trophy systems and trophy systems do block your ballistic knives and they block your crossbow bolts so if you need to work on the crossbow or the ballistic this is the mode to do it in Ooh, and it's a good tomahawk practice look, like look at that i just snapped them that was kind of nutty i was not expecting to hit that oh, i'm out of ammo for this i gotta go crossbow Please don't tomahawk me. Ooh. He ducked it. Let's go. Yeah, see? You just saw I got a camo there. I do already have the ballistic knife unlocked. But you can unlock camos through this game mode. My movement was just on point there. Even though I did I did get blasted, my movement was on point. Games like this, like where you use knives and like crossbows and things like that, where people aren't using actual guns is a good way to just work on your movement because you're going to have to dodge these tomahawks, all these projectiles. Also helps you dodge like actual people when you're playing. Obviously, it's not as easy, but it lets you get a feel for how to move around and what to do. So I highly recommend this mode. It's fun. It's, it's kind of, <laughs> it's a little weird. Straight up killed me during the assassination, asshole. Oh, I hope that was this guy that stole my assassination. But also, if you want to unlock the, the ballistic knife and you don't want to do the zombies method, which is getting a special or melee weapon to epic or legendary tier in zombies and then killing 500 zombies. But if you if you want to unlock it through playing multiplayer, sticks and stones is probably your best bet because these games are relatively fast. You saw right there, I just played a whole game and that was only like four minutes. I might have joined in progress, but that, that's beside the point. And also, let's look at the camos really quick for spray. You need 100 kills for stripes this is where it gets a little weird you need a projectile kill and a melee kill with a ballistic knife in the same life 25 times so that's why six and stones is really really good for this and also you can now don't don't be spread in this we don't want them to patch it you can queue sticks and stones with your friends and you can farm camos you can farm any camo besides the science camo and that's get 50 kills with the ballistic knife while enemies disoriented by your smoke flash or stun but for classic three kills without dying instead of five geometric backstabber kill Tree Blossom, I could not read it. We'll <laughs> check it after this game. Now, the only annoying thing about this mode is when you get a giant map, like Moscow or something. It doesn't seem that big, but when it's it sticks and stones, it's a big map. It's hard to find people. But Miami Strike, it's it's good for it. I still, I, I have mixed feelings about this map. I like how they, they changed it, they adapted it, but they, they made the most ugly part of the map, the Miami Strike version of it. No! How did I miss that? Okay, we're I'm gonna try to focus on getting the projectile and the melee kills for this. Okay, well, we missed the projectile. Missed it again. Okay, we got the melee. The melee, it feels like it's really weird up close. Like I it, it's hard to hit. Now, there's a few ways that you can melee with this. Oh, there's a hundred enemies. We got sprayed done. For melee, if you're on controller or PC or something, your normal your normal, whatever button it would be for you to fire, like your trigger or your click, that's how you shoot your ballistic knife. And now the opposite, like your your left click or your your right click, your, your left trigger, that's gonna be to melee like this. And then there's also whatever you have as your default melee. Like if you were to have a gun out and gun butt somebody, that's also a way to melee. If you want backstabber kills, it's best to do whatever your the aim down sight or the opposite of what your, your shoot would be. But if you want assassinations? I don't know if that's a challenge for this. We're going to have to check. It's it's going gonna, it's gonna to be whatever your normal melee is held down when you're behind somebody. So they did kind of change 
how melee kills in assassinations work to kind of make backstabber medals easier sometime last season. So just a little refresher if you're working on the ballistic knife to do that. Ooh, okay, now just straight up kills aren't gonna help us anymore. So we either need to streak or we need to start getting our projectile and melee kills within the same life. So there's our melee. Now let's get a projectile. There it is. Now we only need to do that 25 times. And I'm, they do stack per life. So if you go on a fourth streak and see, I just got a shot there. If I can melee this guy. Well, if I would have meleeed this guy, it would have counted for two in that life. So it's all about just getting used to it. It does kind of feel weird, but sticks and stones really lets you get used to it without the threat of just getting mowed down by everybody using like a PPSH. If you're working on the ballistic knife, the, the crossbow, this is 100% the mode to do it. And if you're playing this and you're wondering how your score is going down or, you know, what's doing what, if you get tomahawked like that, you lose all your progress. Ooh, let's go. Let's get some feed. Like you, you'll lose all your points if you get tomahawked, just like that guy did. I'm kind of going disgusting right now. Oh, and then see, I had 400 points and now I'm at zero. So just in case you're playing this and you're wondering how you keep dropping to last, that's why. I showed you guys a sniper at the beginning of this video that I have it unlocked. I think I'm going to work on leveling it up and getting like the beginner camos and stuff for it on stream. So if you guys are interested in watching that, be on the lookout for some YouTube streams. I will post about it on my Twitter and my Instagram like beforehand because I know notifications don't go out for it unless you have the bell hit. So if you're interested in seeing that, you can head on over to my Instagram or my Twitter or just, you know, be, be vigilant when you're looking through your sub feed. Because I will be live at some point. But a lot of time you get in games where people are just crossbowing and they're just destroying you. We've been pretty lucky this game where not a lot of people are using the crossbow. So we got a decent amount done with it. See, we've already played two games and my recording is literally only 11 minutes long. So if you're trying to unlock the ballistic knife, you can unlock it by using the ballistic knife. I know it's kind of crazy, but for whatever reason in this mode, it lets you still level it up and everything too. So you can level it up and get camos for it before you even have it unlocked, which is really cool, especially for a special weapon like this, where they just get dominated in the, in the era of trophy systems. Okay, these are two maps I do not want to play this on. They're way too big. Express is probably fine, but I I'm not risking getting Moscow. But anyways, let's go back. Look at our camos. Flora is 50 kills while sliding. Not bad. We already saw that. And then we need double kills. So not too crazy. And to level it up, I already have it leveled max. I just played zombies. My friends were trying to... Oh, backing out of this one. So I played all the way to round 30. And I got it all the way to max level, basically. In just one game of zombies. So we went in there. I was trying to help them get their ballistic knives unlocked. And at the same time, just leveling mine up. So when I went into multiplayer... I could just get any camo I needed. Oh, there we go. Oh, we're streaking. I just need to hit a melee kill here, though. Oh, my. Did I did I figure out the ballistic knife? Am I decent with it now? Oh, also, th I found this out when, I, when the... Before it, I was actually released. And you can use it in custom games, playing custom sticks and stones. I did this. Look at that. The basketball just goes to space. Oh, sniper. So if you if you ever wanna if you're ever playing basketball on raid, just remember that the, the crossbow and the ballistic knife will just send the basketball to Mars. Oh, I think I got this figured out. Ooh. A lot of these guys are using crossbows. It's a little harder to get kills with a ballistic knife when someone's using a crossbow just because it shoots so fast and it's I think it's way more accurate than a ballistic knife. What? It's still doable, just a little difficult. Oh, there's only 30 seconds left in this game already. Let's see, what does it get? One projectile and melee kill in the same life three times in, or at least one time in 15 different games or something like that for the multiplayer challenge. I'm already almost on to my fourth game. Like this is the end of my third game. And it's only been like just about 15 minutes. So that's not bad if you don't want to do the, the, the zombies way. Stripes are getting there. Making some progress. We're getting very close on classic too. We need to work on our backstabbers for sure. So let's try to knock some of those out this game. And then now I, I think we're only going to stick to sticks and stones today. I need to stay away from Nuketown for a bit. Checkmate. Checkmate's pretty decent for this. And this season three master kind of looks crazy. What do I need to do? We might actually do with the season three challenges this time because I like that calling card. I like how there's there's no little team animation for this. It just starts. You spawn and you're in it. I just got to be careful not to use my tomahawk as much so we can get some levels for this. Oh, that was a snipe if I've ever seen one. Holy shit. Ooh, we traded. 
No, there's another person over here. There we go. Oh, we got tomahawked. Oh, well. I don't really care too much about our score. As long as I'm getting progress towards camos, I'm chilling. There we go. Easy double kill. I think I got the, the trajectory down for this. I kind of have to just lead it very slightly. That guy almost tomahawked the shit out of me. And you kind of got to aim up. It doesn't go straight forward at like a constant velocity. It goes, it has almost a little baby arc to it, especially at distance. So you kind of got to aim a little higher when you're shooting further, but not too much, not too crazy. There's not too much drop on it, but there is drop. So just, you know, it, it, it'll take a little bit to get a feel for it. But once you do, it's kind of crazy. No. And then you get people like this that just camp all the way back here in the corner. So he's going to catch a tomahawk, I think. Or an assassination. Please don't kill me. Okay, he waited for it. Ooh. Let's go. That counts towards stripes. And it's a double kill. We're out of ammo for our ballistic. So we're just going to have to knife him. Get out of here. Okay, we got we got a little a little leader over here. We're gonna go play spoiler and give him a nice tomahawk. Never mind. Ooh, bank shot. This is just helping me pad my tomahawk stats, to be honest. Oh, I'm an idiot. I should not have laid down. I, it, that's always just a knee-jerk reaction. Like, as somebody who uses a lot of melee weapons, it's just lay down behind cover, because usually it's just somebody shooting at you, not somebody charging you with a knife. There we go. Okay, we need a projectile kill. This guy might be it. No. No. How? He has got Commando Pro. <laughs> that was ridiculous. I was so far away from him. Okay, now we need a melee kill. Does this guy want to give it to us? Oh, we'll just snipe him. I feel the need to jump before I shoot it constantly. No! It was very tricky to, to melee with these. Oh, I need to focus on backstabbers too. I've been forgetting about those. All right, well, at least we got some progress towards some camos. We'll do one more game. I'm going to try to focus on backstabs and hopefully we can get some. Let's put a camo on this. Do I have anything that looks cool? I guess I can put a psychedelic on there. That's decent. Mm, okay, I guess Garrison's all right. It's not as big as Moscow. Oh my lag. All right. Never mind on that last game. I'm getting too many frame drops. For whatever reason, Streamlabs still likes to give me those frame drops. I, you probably noticed that on my first season three video. Uh, I really need to get OBS set up. I, I've tried and it still looks like blurry or pixely when I do it. So I'll do a little more testing with OBS so I can get a little longer recordings for you guys. But anyways, that's where I'm going to end it. We did get really decent progress on this and you know we found a good way to grind these so if you're grinding the ballistic knife remember play sticks and stones you can play with friends and you can camo boost but do not tell anybody please don't spread it we don't need this patch especially not not until i get it cold once i get it cold you guys can spread it like crazy anyways that's gonna be it for me today uh, if you like this video want to see more leave a like on it if you didn't you don't dislike if you're new here please consider subscribing uh we, we put up all kinds of COD content all throughout the week and i'm gonna be trying to live stream more on here so if you don't want to miss those follow my instagram or my twitter or make sure you hit the bell to see when i go live and yeah that's about it uh links to my merch store and my secret labs affiliate link in the description below and that's it for me and i'll see you guys next time later